So my artistic practice is primarily just putting work in the public realm, doing public art. So I make murals and sculptures for the most part and just try to put them out in the world, um, out in the public realm. And the work is usually very playful and accessible. So some pieces like a, like a payphone swallowing up some swallowing up a guy or a, uh, a park bench being smashed by a giant pine cone. Or uh, one mural piece I did was um, gigantic, like 13 foot jacks that were on a wall that were juxtaposed with all these cars that parked next to them. Uh, so the piece that I created for Tough Art is uh, a kinetic sculpture. It's uh, just a large stack of 55 gallon drums that are uh, precariously balanced on each other. Um, and then there's a crank that you can, that the audience can spin that turns, starts the whole, the whole sculpture spinning. And when these barrels spin, it creates an illusion that they're actually rolling on each other's rims as opposed to just being one solid thing spinning. When I look at this piece and how it's going to be received, I kind of view it as being um, sort of two interactions almost. I kind of view it as there being the, the direct interaction that the person is having that's cranking it. So it's like a fun experience for a child to be able to move something that's so, so giant and it takes a little bit of effort. Um, so I think that that's something that will be exciting for them alone, just being able to move this, move this giant object. Um, but I'm also hoping that, especially of being here in the garage, um, that it'll be visible from anywhere in the garage and it'll really be also an interaction for, for everybody in the room. So people walking by can kind of peek in and, and see it and be like, oh, what is that? Um, so I kind of have been viewing it as this sort of duality of interaction where it's, there's the person turning it and then there's everybody else that's looking at it. So one of the biggest challenges for me with this project was trying to figure out how to make it interactive. Um, with my public work, usually it's just um, static. It's um, very aesthetic and visual, but it doesn't have that um, interactivity with it. So trying to figure out how to bring in my usual style of making larger public work, um, but sort of combining that with uh, some play and some interactivity um, took some time and some finagling. And uh, prototyping some earlier ideas sort of pointed me in a direction, and uh, this is where I ended up. So in my, in my earlier prototypes, or my earlier ideas for the, for the piece when I was thinking of balancing and stacking these large objects um, and trying to decide where in the museum it might exist, um, early on in that process, I thought in my head, I was like, oh, oil drums would look really nice in the, uh, in the garage. Um, just aesthetically, it would fit really, really well. Um, so I was sort of in the back of my mind throughout the process.